Okay guys, we're back out here today, <clears throat> and uh, what I'm going to do today is go ahead and try to get that driveway fixed up with some gravel. Um, first thing I need to do is measure this ta this uh, trailer here. It's supposed to be 4 by 6 but I don't know if that's to the inside or the outside, so I need to measure to make sure because the particle board or the OSB needs to fit on the inside. Now I've had this sheet of OSB and this little scrap for like over a year and a half just sitting in the shed and I keep on not using it because I keep thinking I'm going to use it for something, you know, more worthwhile than just, you know, doing something like this. But a year and a half later it doesn't seem like I'm using it for anything so I might as well use it for something. I got my tape measure stuck. What kind of ridiculous nonsense is that? All right, so we go to the inside. Yeah, so it's about 45, 45 and a quarter. <clears throat> so I'll just go 45. 45, and we'll say 68. 45 by 68. Okay, so. I thought I'd show you guys a, <clears throat> a cool way to cut sheet goods um, with a skill saw, but still get a perfectly straight line. Okay, I'm hoping this will be a, an okay angle for you guys to see. So first I'm going to mark off my 45. Actually, let's do the 68 first. So. Sixty-eight. Now I'm just gonna pull that out where I know I'm not gonna hit the trailer with my saw. Alright, so the first thing I'm gonna do is make kind of a guide. What I want to know is how far between this edge of the of the uh, table of the saw to the blade. So I'm gonna scoot this right out flush with the edge of that board. Now, let me turn this where I can see it. Okay, so now, let's see if I can do this or not. Now, this piece of wood is the perfect distance between the edge of the guide and the blade. All right, so I've got me a couple of clamps here. And then what you want is something that's straight. Perfectly straight that's got a little bit of a lip to it. So I'm just going to use this short piece of OSB with a factory edge on it. Okay, there's my marks. So we'll just lay that across our marks. Take our little guide board here and just line that up line up this edge with the mark
Now this is really not all that necessary for uh, making a bottom to a trailer that's just going to get messed up anyway. But I just thought I would show you guys how to cut a straight line with a skill saw. Okay, so I don't know if you'll be able to see or not. Uh, let's see. Okay, right there. Right there's our mark. So you can see it's spaced out like that. And then we just run our saw table across the edge of that board that makes a straight cut. And there we are straight cut now I'm gonna keep this this little piece of board I'll just throw it in the shed or something and uh, that way I've got my spacer from my specific saw each saw can be a little bit different so you want to always kind of make one for your own saw Okay, so what I've decided to do here um, is instead of just splitting this piece down the middle, um, I'm just going to cut them to the exact height of the side rails. I was going to leave them sticking up some for, you know, so I could pile it in more, but um, I'll just make it the exact height, give or take, of the, uh, of the actual rails. And then uh, I'll have an 8 inch piece left over to go in the front. That way I can kind of make the pile go like, you know, 7 or 8 inches in the front and I can hump it up kind of in the middle. So I think that'll work alright. But now I'm not going to mess with the, uh, with the straight cut stuff. I'm just going to run a chalk line. I need to get me a good worm drive skill saw, really, but for this kind of stuff, that one works pretty good. Okay, <clears throat> now I guess we'll start putting this together. I wish there was like one level spot on this whole property. It kind of gets my back to hurting working on these hillsides, standing sideways all the time, but do what you got to do, I guess. That figures. There's a little bit of wiggle room in there so nothing gets bound up. There's about there's about a half inch on the front and side so if you were to go all the way around it'd be about a quarter of an inch of space 
all the way around, which is pretty good. Now what I'm going to do is just drill a couple holes in this plywood, and I'm going to wire it to the sides here. Um, it really doesn't have to hold real strong. I don't need to put like clamps into it or anything like that. Because the weight of the gravel is just going to push against it and hold it anyway. Really, I could just leave it loose in there and just as I fill it up, just scoot it out to the edge. But I'd like to just wire it in there so it'll hold still while I'm driving it around empty. Now, obviously, those are not going to fit. So I'll have to cut that one down. this one down. Alrighty. Where's my pencil? You guys keep losing all my stuff. Okay. I gotta blame it on somebody and it surely ain't my fault. Cut those pieces real quick. Come on, extension cord, don't do this to me. Second, what exactly? Okay, I'm confused. I guess I'm gonna have to go back and watch the video on that one because I don't know what just happened. How did that? I don't see any other mark on it. Oh yeah, I do. But now it's not right, so. There must have been a, a different mark on it from when I was originally, like a year and a half ago, using this board, so. I guess that's something to keep in mind, is make sure you're cutting the right mark. So that ought to work pretty good. Now I'll just go get some wire and put a drill bit in and kind of wire these up where they'll stay put. Okay, well, I couldn't find any of my wire, but I did find some fishing line, so I think that'll work. And that might bust, but if it does, it don't really matter. Like I said, the weight of the gravel will hold them up anyway. I just wanted to keep them from flopping around while I was driving. But Well, I guess let's go get our shovel and 
I'll probably take this bucket with me because it probably would be just as easy to take this five gallon bucket and just scoop up the creek gravel and dump it in there. It'll probably be faster than using a shovel, but I'll take a shovel anyway. And that tire on that lawnmower goes flat about every 20 minutes, so I have to. I've got my air compressor aired up, my little one, and uh, I just take it with me wherever I go. And this hose can reach the tire from inside the wagon, so. I just air it up before I leave, and then park wherever I'm I'm at and then when I get ready, get this full of gravel I'll just air that tire up again and set the compressor on the gravel and come back it's kind of a pain but you know it works mm -hmm.